So before we get into the calibration of this monitor, I wanna answer one question that I get constantly from you guys, and that is, does this monitor work well for PS4, Xbox One, or will it work with some of the next gen consoles coming out? And that's a lot to unpack. There are so many different options out there, you guys. I can't give a specific exam example for each individual case, but I do my best. I do my best to give people some broad examples of what I would probably choose based on what I know about monitors and TVs. That being said, uh, I wanna talk about something on this monitor that doesn't really make it a strong contender for gaming with a console for next gen consoles in future proofing your purchase, which is the fact that it doesn't come with HDMI 2.1. And it actually makes a lot of sense that it doesn't come with 2.1 because it's not a 4K monitor, but it does come with DisplayPort, so it makes it a phenomenal gaming monitor. So now I wanna dive into what you guys have asked me and I'll put some values below for you guys to check out, but I wanna go over some calibration tips. Before I do that, I need you guys to hit like and please subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it through this video. I'm really just kidding, but go ahead and please share this with your friends. We're doing a lot of work here. The video's not over. I still have a calibration to do with you guys. Number one, never overdrive your display. Don't turn all your settings up to maximum and expect to get the best result. Second, having a proper contrast ratio is probably a bit more important than blasting out your brightness in order to see everything that you possibly can, but you won't be able to make out as much detail as you will if you have the proper contrast ratio. Well, let's jump into your three options. And first, I'm gonna start with the Microsoft way to calibrate your display. Okay, so here you don't want any of these inner circles to be showing. You want this to be nice and smooth. This is gonna give you the proper gamma, right, for all your colors so you're not getting a very concentrated amount in the middle of that picture, but you're getting a nice, nice smooth display. So right there is probably good for me. We're gonna try to make sure that we're getting all the detail out of this black suit here while getting this X barely in the background at a little bit deeper black than what's around it. But we don't want gray and we don't want crushed blacks here. We want right in the middle. So you use the controls on your display here. So you pop on over and you go to picture adjust on this guy. And I'm gonna go to brightness and see if I go a little bit darker, too dark. I'm gonna bring it up. The X is looking good, not too gray over here, and definitely a good detail in the suit. You can see all of the detail in here. All right, same thing here. We want this white and this contrast level. This is gonna be your contrast adjustments. You want these two to, to match up, right? Again, you don't wanna blow out the color to gray, and you don't wanna crush it to be too dark. Too much contrast, not de no detail in the white here. I'm thinking that's looking pretty good right at 70. I'm gonna take it down one more notch, get a little bit more black in here. Good contrast levels for this monitor right here. You can balance these out by adjusting your colors here to what you want. You want a good shade of gray all the way across the screen. You can see here, maybe I'm getting a little too much green. So if I bring that green down just a little bit, maybe it'll give me a little bit more accurate colors. Now, you're never gonna be able to get 100% accurate here. You're gonna need a scope to be able to tell what your accuracy is to gauge the color range that you have and the capability of your monitor. But just for fun, I'm gonna kind of slide these around. You can see what they do and try to get something that is accurate to gray representation. This is done, we're, we're, we're all done. So when doing your own custom calibration, you wanna find a game that suits you or multiple games that suit what you like to play. And then you wanna open your menu, like it, I've shown below, and you wanna go through and calibrate as much as you possibly can. Now, where I start is I start with contrast. I don't start with brightness. I first set my contrast to 100%. I find something that has a very high contrast like a black next to a white and a very dark image and something very bright in it. And I start to bring that contrast level 
down until those two mesh really well together and you're getting very good detail. Then I move on to something like brightness and I adjust that brightness so it's not glaring in my face but still gives me a lot of detail. I want to pull out that detail from the bright and dark areas. Again, I do not want to crush those black or overdrive the whites or the brights, right? Then I can go through and do things like black stabilizer, image sharpness, whether I want it to be cool or warm, some sort of feeling or overlay over the screen. Tip, I typically do a warm, which is more natural to what we see in person. Not really a cool setting, but it depends on your room. If you have a lot of yellow lighting, uh, maybe a cooler tone would help and, and look better on your eyes. If you have a more fluorescent room, probably something that's warm is going to look better for you. And then I can start to mess with my sRGB settings and so on and so forth and dive in, dial it in the way I want for the game that I play. Well, hey, you guys, it's about that time to wrap up the video, and I appreciate everyone who watched all the subscribers. We're almost at a thousand. We keep putting out little bits of videos here and there, making some longer ones, some shorter ones. We're testing it out to see what you like. So if there's anything you recommend or you want us to cover, put it in the comments below. Otherwise, we're going to keep making great content like we always have. And as always, if you made it this far, please hit that like button definitely subscribe. Uh, share it with all your friends so they can see what we're doing here at Techcessory. We want to grow to be able to offer more videos like this to you guys, not only now, but far into the future. And we want to cover so much more. So I appreciate you guys as always, and I'll catch you in the next video.